Hello guys, welcome to another video of additional mathematics. In these video sets, we are going to solve questions from your textbook one by one. If you do not want to miss our videos, please do subscribe to our channel right now. Let's start today's question. So let's solve this. We need to find Laplace of this function. So let's see what we need to do. We always try to uh, convert sin h t as e power t minus e power minus t over 2. So let's do that here. So we have Laplace e power t minus e power minus t over t. Right? Let's take 1 by t outside. We will be left with Laplace e power t minus e power minus t. Right? Then how to solve for the... See... 1 by t, we know Laplace of e power t that is 1 over s minus 1 minus, we also know e, uh, e power minus t Laplace that is 1 over s plus 1, right? Now, we need to replace 1 by t with integration from s to infinity with respect to ds. So, let's do that. So, 1 by t can be replaced with, we should be replaced with integration from s to infinity 1 by s minus 1 minus 1 over s plus 1 we are to integrate with respect to ds. So let's integrate. So what is 1 by s minus 1 integration log of s minus 1. How do we know? Differentiation of denominator is in numerator d by ds of s is 1 that is there in numerator number differentiation is 0. So 1 is there here also 1 is there. So this also will get log of s plus 1. 1. What are the limits? S to infinity. So, we can also write this as log a minus log b is nothing but log a over log b. Right? After this step, S to infinity directly reverse this function that is log of S plus 1 over S minus 1 and just reverse it and write it. Why it is happening something like this? Whenever we are substituting infinity, this whole term will become 0 minus s term. So, that's why we are getting this. So, just remember whenever we after substitute, we, before substituting limits, uh, what will happen? Just it will flip out. If you want to explain how it happens, we have done with the regular videos. Right? So, let's go to the next question. We need to find Laplace of this term. How do we do that? So, again, we need to take 1 by t outside. Then we will be left with Laplace of sin square t and also sin square t can be written as what half times 1 minus cos 2 times t so let's replace that 1 by t so this can be written as laplace of half times 1 minus cos 2t right so next what i do 1 by 2 i'll take it out and 1 by t i'll keep it as it is Laplace of 1 is what? 1 over s minus Laplace of cos 2t is what? S upon s square plus 2 square. Next, I need to eliminate 1 by t. How do I eliminate 1 by t? Integrating from s to infinity with respect to ds. Let's do that. So, we have 1 by 2 integration from s to infinity 1 over s minus s upon s square plus 2 square I need to integrate with respect to ds. So, let's do that. So, 1 by 2. So, this will become log s minus. See, we don't have a 2s. Differentiation of s square is 2s. We don't have a 2 here. So, I'll divide by 2 and multiply with 2 here. I'll divide by 1 by 2. So, this whole term will become log of s square plus 2 square. s to infinity. And also next step what I will do? log s minus i'll take this root that side so it will become log root of s square plus 2 square right s to infinity next what i'll do log a minus log b is what log a by b so i'll get s upon root of s square plus 2 square from s to infinity finally after substituting the limits it just read reversed i'll just write the direct answer log of root of s square plus 2 square over s. This is a common answer. Let's try to find the Laplace transform of this 
So let's take 1 by t outside Laplace transform of 1 minus e power minus s into t. Right? So let's keep 1 by t as it is and Laplace of 1 is what? 1 over s minus Laplace of e power minus s t Laplace is what? 1 over s plus t coefficient. What is the t coefficient here? s itself. So what do I get? I get 1 over t 1 by s minus 1 over 2s. Right? So how can we solve it? Let's take half common. So 1 by 2 into times t. Here I'll get 2 by s minus 1 over s. So we'll get 1 by 2, 1 by t. 2 by s minus 1 by s is 1 by s. Isn't it? Now I need to eliminate 1 by t. How do I do it? Integrating from s to infinity with respect to ds. So let's do that. So half times integration s to infinity 1 by s with respect to ds. So what I'll get? I get 1 by t. 1 by s integration is what? Log s from s to infinity. So <coughs> What do I get? I just need to reverse it. Get half times log of. There is nothing means there will be 1 here. So I'll get 1 by s. Okay. Is that cool? So s by 1. Na? So if I refer 1 by s. So we just everywhere we have flipped the numerator and denominator. Here also we are flipping the numerator and denominator. Right. So why are we flipping? We have explained in the, uh, the main video. You can watch that because when you are substituting the limits, they always limit extends to infinity this term will become zero that's why this the first term will become zero and the second term will be negative of it so if i reverse it i'll get the same term right sure. hey guys if you like the way that we teach check out our full course which contains all these topics from the basic to the level that you are required for your examination the link is in the description and do not forget to share this video with your friends and help them as well and do not forget to subscribe this channel for more videos like this one thanks for watching all the very best